All right, everyone, we are young into 2024, but the Facebook marketplace deals are still rolling and flowing. I want to show you guys the most recent pickups I've gotten so far this year. Check them out. All right, and quick disclaimer, uh, if you're new to the channel, what I've recently been doing is buying Facebook Marketplace collections. That's been the best way for me to fund my collection because trying to buy something at full boat these days, once you get used to getting things cheap on Facebook, it's kind of tough to go back. So basically, I'll look for a deal on Facebook that has something that I need in my collection first and foremost. If it's not anything I don't need, then I don't bother getting a collection. Uh, secondly, for the stuff that I want to keep, I keep it. The stuff that I get doubles of, I part ways with. Normally hooking people up with really good deals, that's what I like to do. I don't like to charge full boat or anything to people. I got a great deal on something, so I try to hook somebody else up with stuff. So with the collections I'm going to show you, a lot of the stuff you're not going to see because either I've already had a copy of it, so it's in my collection already, so I've already parted ways with the doubles, or it's sitting in a bin back here already stacked up with all my other doubles that need to be getting rid of and clogging up my floor. So it's just sitting already packed away. So the stuff that you'll see here is just the stuff that I was going to be keeping for my personal collection, but you'll see the original listings as well. So let's get into it. All right, the first one I want to talk about here, two of these happened just right at the end of December. So I want to show these off too uh, real quickly because they were really great deals. One of them was a marketplace deal. I think the guy had stuff. It was video games and DVDs listed for 50 bucks. And I sent him back a message. Hey, how much for just the video games? He said 30 bucks for the game. So I said, sure. And all in the picture you could see was two Super Nintendo games and then a lot of DVDs. So I didn't know what to expect when going to the sale. I think I saw some PS1 games or something to think if I, again, if the listing's there, I'll put it up and show you guys. If not, I'm sorry. Uh, but the two Super Nintendo games were X-Men, The Mutant Apocalypse, and Mortal Kombat 2. And it had a bunch of, like I said, games and DVDs. When I got there, it was just a huge box of stuff where I only saw a bunch of DVDs with a couple PS2 games mixed in. He's like, you know what? I'm moving out of here. I just need all of this stuff gone. Can you just take it for all for 30? Because I don't want to deal with selling the DVDs. I said, sure. Even though I'm not like a big DVD collector or anything. The bad thing, because it's going to look like a great deal with a lot of the stuff that I got, but the games were in a garage and a lot of the PlayStation 1 games have some water damage. Some of the PS2 games did too, so the inserts could have some mold and stuff, so it's not something you could really get rid of if you want to part away with anything. I'm pretty much keeping everything out of that collection. I have some in the bins for stuff to part ways with, but they're all kind of... I'll show you guys an example when I show you these PS1 games. So here is an example on one of the PS1 games here. Need for Speed High Stakes was in it. And as you can see with the manual here, how crinkly, I mean, it, the pages will not even open up the book. It's just all water damaged. So I have these PS1 games, Medal of Honor. Rugrats, Die Hard, Driver 2, Driver, and then a bunch of, and there were more PS1 games, like I said, they're in the bin. If I can show like a quick view of it, you guys will see all this stuff. <laughs> and then a bunch of PS2 games were in it, and some of the highlights that I'm keeping, Fast and the Furious, Sims 2 Castaway, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories and Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition. This guy was a big racing game fan, so he had Juiced 1 and 2 in there, Need for Speed the Underground 1 and 2. He had Need for Speed Most Wanted on the PS2 in there, Carbon, Pro Street. He has all those, but all those I already have, so they're in the bin. In the PS1 games he had, pretty much all the Tomb Raider games. Uh, but again, everything was damaged and I have all those as well. So they're all in the in the bin there So really good deal for 30 bucks, but just a lot of damage is done to everything. So Let's go to the next one. All right So the next deal was for a Wii lot. It was a hundred bucks. You can see in the picture uh, That she had a couple Wii games in the console 
I want to message her what the other games were that were with it. She said there were too many to name. There could be up to 30. It's like, awesome. So I went ahead and went to, uh, if you're not familiar, I've told this in the past. So in order for me to buy stuff here, it's either Venmo or cash. And if they want cash, my bank is not here. So I have to go to Walmart. I buy something cheap. I get cash back and boom, that's how I get my cash. So I've gone out and I got the 100 bucks for her and we planned on meeting before we picked our kids up from school. And that's what we did right before 3 p.m. We met in a parking lot right between our schools and did the deal. Just when she whipped it out and didn't show, I didn't know all the games. There was like 20 to 30 uh, games in there, uh, really solid titles of stuff that I already had. And I told her, you know, this is worth well more than 100, but I only have the 100 she was asking for. She said she didn't care. She wasn't in need of any extra money. They were just moving away and wanted to get rid of everything. So without further ado, here's the games that I'm going to be keeping. Uh, some other ones I'm debating on keeping on because they're kind of like that shovelware type stuff. And all the others were doubles like Mario Kart Wii. She had Mario Galaxy and stuff in there, but and new Super Mario Bros. But I already have those, so I didn't need them. These are the ones I'm keeping. Really love hunting games. So here's some more hunting game action. Cabela's this is North American Adventures. Yep. Big game hunter. Dangerous Hunts 2009. Dangerous Hunts 2011. Mario Party 8. Poke Park Wii. Pikachu's Adventure. And Pokemon. Battle Revolution actually had a disc only copy, so it's cool to have the case and everything now because I found it last year uh, during the garage sales. So I'll be keeping these games and like the rest, it's like 15 or 20 more. I either already had or it's just a shovelware stuff that I don't really care to have in the collection. Unless it's hunting game shovelware, then I love it. All right, and the next really great deal was a Guitar Hero lot. I really love the Guitar Hero games. I'm trying to get a lot of them to keep for the collection. And the guitars are stuff that are highly desirable because you know those things can go out and break. So I try to hoard as many as I can. I think I'll have to turn around and count. I currently have seven guitars, uh, including the ones that I just got. So this it's i got a good little stash now to keep me uh, occupied in case some start to break but anyways uh here are the games that i was able to keep that are not doubles and it's a pretty small list here's one of the guitars I figured i'd show you guys since i was playing with it recently to test it out and enjoy it but the only game that i needed out of that uh, collection was warriors of rock i actually had copies of everything else it was really just adding the guitars and the game that I needed to my collection so the rest are available and speaking of Guitar Hero we'll continue with that theme talking about the next pickup there was a guy who was selling some Xbox 360 games for 10 bucks a piece which is pretty high for some Xbox 360 stuff for most of the titles but not for these two really good deal for these games and that was Guitar Hero 5 and Guitar Hero Metallica which was great because I already had a copy of Guitar Hero Metallica. The bad thing was it was a disc only, and I got it for buy two, get one free at GameStop. Well, unfortunately, I never tested the game out until over a month had passed. When I put the game in, it did not work. So this was a dud copy of the game. So I'm glad I was able to recoup another copy for the collection. So sticking with that same seller who sold me the Xbox 360 games, when I met him, I told him, hey, I collect a lot of stuff, so if you have anything else you want to part ways with, just let me know, especially GameCube or Wii U. And he said he thought he had some GameCube games, and uh, he knew he had two Game Boy Advances. And I said I'd be interested, depending on how much he wanted for him or anything. And uh, he didn't really know the values, so I told him what the values were. An original Game Boy Advance, he said he had, I said 60 to 80. And then I said if you have the SP, which he said he had, was 80 to 100. So between 150 uh, 200 you could get probably sell them pretty easily and then sit in the parking lot there he's like if you want them they could be yours for a hundred I said sure I'll take them for a hundred I'll take a chance on them he said he didn't have a charge or anything for him so he went back to his house which is about a 10 minute drive and then came back and I just stayed put in the same place I was at and he brought me this OG Game Boy Advance and this red SP 
and the only reason I did the deal is because I'm not in super in need of any GBAs right now is this one could use a lot of cleaning and some work so I figured it could be a really cool like mod project where people enhance the screen on it and make it brighter they change like the case shell and stuff I thought that would be really cool to do with this so that's really the only reason I got it so I could maybe turn this into like a Metroid themed uh, Game Boy Advance I figured that would be cool and yeah and everything worked fine and he also found the GameCube games uh, Super Mario Sunshine uh, Animal Crossing and Sonic Ultimate Gems collection he had those three but I already had them so I told him I was in no need of them he can hang on to them and try to sell them to somebody else so yeah he had those three but just didn't need them for the collection. In keeping with the handheld theme, there was a 3DS listed online for 120 bucks with some games with it. I asked him if it was still available. I think I was one of the first people to contact him because when he came to my house and gave it to me, yes, he actually drove to my house to give this thing to me. He didn't want to meet me anywhere. He drove here. Uh, he's like within, while driving to my house, he had like 10 to 15 other messages of people wanting to get this thing because it's a great deal. For this item and it was a new Nintendo 3DS he had this uh, case shell protector on the stuff which is really cool a link one and here is the 3DS sitting here in the case yes it did come with this case as well uh, the thing was he did not have a charger for it so he couldn't really charge it up and when he brought it to my house we went ahead and I hooked it up to a charger to see if it would take a charge but it still would not uh, power on yet because I guess the battery was really dead. But it is charged up, fully working, it's in great shape. So a new Nintendo 3DS for 120 bucks with these games. We have Animal Crossing New Leaf, Pokemon Moon, Hyrule Warriors, Smash Bros, and Enchanted DS. So. I could see why he had a lot of people wanting it because this was a really good deal for all this stuff. And yeah, another 3DS for the collection with some of the games that I needed for collection. He didn't have boxes, but sometimes you can piece those things together to we'll see what happens. I know Pokemon Moon was the only thing here that I already do have, so on to the next. All right, the next deal has a pretty interesting story to it. So I saw a listing on Marketplace in Spokane, Washington. I live in Moses Lake. That's like an hour and 45 minute plus drive for me uh, to get there from where I live. And even the best of deals on there, sometimes it's just, I hate driving that long distance. I love living in an area where things are really close by. I just hate driving that far for anything, even if it's an incredible deal like this. It was a GameCube listing for 20 bucks with some solid games in it. Um, I don't know if those pictures you'll be able to see, but you'll see them soon, the games that come with it. And I was like, man, do I really want to do this? It was a Sunday evening, football Sunday, playoff Sunday, and I just did not want to drive out there at in the evening time and come back late. So I ended up messaging her saying, hey, you're, you're asking for 20 bucks, but your stuff is worth more than 200 bucks. Uh, so you could probably get more than just the 20 bucks that you're asking for. I was just giving her a heads up so she could get a little bit more money because it looked like she didn't know what she had. Uh, she replied back that if I was interested in them, I said I would be if uh, you could hold on to them till the next day. I had made up my mind. I was like, here, I'll give you 100 bucks for this stuff. And factoring in my gas and everything to drive out there kind of works out to about 150, 160 ish bucks in total. I'm investing in the trip with the wear on my car because it's the dead of winter here with snow everywhere, uh, getting all in my vehicle and engineer. It's just, ugh. I was like, I, I'll offer 100 bucks for all of it. And she said she would take that deal and hold on to them for me. So the next day, Martin Luther King Day, we had a family day. We went out to Spokane and ate lunch and everything there and then picked up these games for a hundred bucks this is what I got GameCube with no cords or cables or anything with it tested it out it is still working great just needed a little bit of cleaning then all the games she had I needed every single one for my collection and for the exception of one thing that I'll show you Piglet's big movie game needed that super bubble pop needed that one shadow the hedgehog no manual in this one 
Mario Party 5, and look at that price tag on it, like under three bucks. Of course, the case art's all beaten up, but it'll look pretty on my shelf. Mortal Kombat Deception, and this one is complete. And last but not least, she had the Game Boy Player Disc. Like, this is the only thing other than the console that I already have in the collection, so I will not be needing it, but I do need all the games here. And again, it's something that I probably would have offered her more if she was locally for this stuff, but just for having to drive out there for that distance, three hour plus round trip, 100's the only thing I could be at, guys. So sorry if it felt like I lowballed her there, but she was only asking for 20, and I have to factor in my gas and everything for driving out there. So I'm really glad I was able to add all this stuff I needed for my collection, because I needed every single one of them. Incredible buy for me. But while we were in Spokane, we were able to knock off one of the goals of the year already. We just made that video, but we already knocked a goal out, and that was picking up one of the games I needed for the Wii U, Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts on the Wii U. Now, the price of this has actually dropped down a lot, and I'm actually going to do a video of that uh, coming up next about how the pricing market is going for some of these games, which is looking pretty good for us collectors so maybe not so much for an investor but collectors it's looking pretty good but yes we knocked this off I went to the game store and picked this up for I think it was 65 bucks I paid for this one and then while I was there I bought a power cord for this GameCube because it needed a power cord I have extra AV cords and everything but did not have a power cord for it so there you have it. That's all the Facebook deals I've gotten so far in less than a month. Again, most of them within the new year already. And it's already been a short time since we started this new year. So I'm looking forward to seeing how 2024 is going to go for my collection. I did not think I'd be able to add these key items for the collections that I'm really trying to complete. Awesome beginning to the year. I'm looking forward to it. I'll catch you guys in the next one.